Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first panel of our conference. We're going to talk about the economic outlook in the context of a rising China. I'm very excited to have uh, a brilliant batch of people here uh, in this uh, first session. And I would like to start introducing uh, the panelists to you. I'd like to start with uh, uh, the Minister of uh, Ethiopia, Arkebe Okube, Special Advisor uh, to the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, who you all know collected the Nobel <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> and I'd like to insist on the fact that uh, uh, Arkebe is uh, part of this, is part of the government, and he is also the mastermind of some of the successful programs that uh, Ethiopia implemented, in particular uh, in the sphere of economics. He has written about the uh, transformation of African economies. He's also written about uh, the role of China in Africa, Oxford University Press books that I highly recommend reading. Like uh, to continue uh, with Sergei Storchak, uh, right uh, on the, the right, uh, of uh, our seating order here. He is Deputy Minister of Finance uh, of the Russian Federation. He's been in government almost forever. That's uh, what he told me, for 25 years and more. So someone who really knows the modern Russia and the economics uh, of it, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to your insights. Then we have uh, Il Sakong uh, from, uh, from Korea. He has a long and prestigious career in the Korean government. He was Minister of Finance from 1987 to 1988, and he has been uh, the person responsible for the success of the uh, Korean G20 presidency in uh, uh, 2010. And uh, uh, he's also a scholar. He writes and, uh, uh, about, about the economic uh, situation in Asia. He has a PhD from the UCLA, UCLA University of California, Los Angeles. Then I'm particularly happy to introduce uh, Saliedin Mizuara, uh, the, the man waving here. Uh, <laughs> I'm introducing you. <laughs> He's uh, started off as a businessman. He's been the CEO of a uh, 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 textiles group, Spanish textiles group, Tavex, here in Morocco. Uh, he's been in government in Morocco for something like uh, 15 years, from 2004 to 2017. Uh, and he has been covering different positions, which is uh, quite impressive, uh, from uh, uh, the Ministry of Commerce to the Ministry of Finance to the Ministry uh, of Foreign Affairs. That's uh, quite a parcours, uh, je dirais. C'est très bien de vous avoir hein, sur le panel. Uh, on va parler anglais uh, ici, parce que la plupart des, des panélistes parlent <laughs> then I'm happy to introduce to, to you uh, uh, Naoki Tanaka over there. He's the president of the Center for International Public Policy Studies in Tokyo, an author of many, many, many books, a very long CV, a distinguished scholar, and there's one book, again, that I can recommend. I've not read it, unfortunately, but I should, because the title is provocative and interesting. The title is The Great Stagnation of China. This is the period of 2016. Let's see uh, and let's discuss what uh, you find about, about the Chinese economy. And then, last but not least, next to me, Olivier Blanchard, that I think in this room everyone knows. Uh, he's the former president of the American Economic Association. He's the former chief economist uh, of the International Monetary Fund. He was there at the helm of this organization in troubling times uh, from 2008 to 2015. He is one of the reasons why the world's economic and financial crisis uh, was managed in a reasonably well uh, way. I would say uh, still we are suffering from it or from the, from the consequences, but the fact that uh, this didn't uh, uh, have larger negative effects, I think, is, large, is also due to him. He is a uh, professor emeritus from the MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and uh, he is one of the founding fathers of what we economists call new Keynesianism. Uh, and if you had uh, read the news yesterday, uh, Bloomberg 
ran an article, for example, that speculated who might win the Nobel Prize on Monday. We'll all be here again, uh, still here on Monday. And uh, Olivier is mentioned there, and uh, we think should be crossing uh, our fingers. It would be so fantastic to have two uh, Nobel Prize winners here in our room. Uh, but uh, let's see. This is, of course, highly uncertain, and I, I know how, how embarrassing it must be to hear this every year. Uh, but the Bloomberg article ended with the sentence saying that uh, there will be a novel for those who created the new Keynesianism. The question is just when. So with this introduction, um, I would like to uh, sketch very briefly how we're going to proceed here. I think we'll have a first round talking about the uh, overall outlook uh, of the world economy, um, and then a second round where we'll uh, look more deeply into the role of China. This is uh, how this uh, session is uh, set up, the context of rising China. And then, time permitting, in the third round, talk about yeah, multilateralism that goes beyond the concerns that we all have in trade policy, currency, uh, and investment uh, topics uh, if, we, if we have time. <laughs>